and the solution to all these problems is humanitarian logistics going forward we shall see how humanitarian logistics can help in solving the problems of the people so first of all let us understand what is actually humanitarian logistics humanitarian logistics as we can see is a branch of logistics which deals in organizing the delivery and warehousing of supplies during natural disasters and providing relief to the affected people going forward it is important for us to understand who are the main stakeholders of humanitarian logistics the donors are the people who make contributions like food clothing medicines for the affected people the aid agencies and the ngos are instrumental in collecting them and uh, depositing them at a distribution center the governments and the military are the people who aid in providing uh, these collected material to the affected people the logistics providers of course are the ones who help in transporting them there are very uh, famous humanitarian organizations who have been helping the people in these natural disasters they are american red cross care usa catholic relief services unicef save the children international committee of the red cross and world food program now we shall see how the distribution of relief material is carried during post disaster the ngos which collect relief materials from various donors gets an order for humanitarian commodities from the government of affected countries then after consolidation and documentation they send the relief material via air ocean to the affected area after custom clearance it reaches the place by trucks where it is unpacked and sorted and then uh, then distributed to the affected people by the military people of that country this relief material then provides relief to the affected people and saves their life now we shall see what are the phases in disaster management there are three important phases pre disaster disaster and the post disaster phase in the pre disaster phase we first do assessment of the different areas which are prone to natural calamities then we do the planning in which we plan out how much food medicine might be required in case of a natural calamity and then we do do the training and education of the people living in the nearby areas such that how should they deal in such kind of situation then we have the disaster phase in which medicine water food shelter is provided to these people and then we have the post disaster phase in which the reconstruction of the area is taken into consideration and then we have the evaluation and identifying lessons in which we identify what we have learned from this and how we can do better in the future after having discussed the basics of the humanitarian logistics now we are going to discuss a project on humanitarian logistics which we did to select the most appropriate structure for post disaster management what we did in this project is we selected three basic structures that is ace can and pie ace stands for agency centric efforts in this structure the group members are mainly from the communities affected from disaster in pie that is partially integrated efforts some group members are the local ones that is who are affected from the disaster but majority of them are for ngos international organizations who provide aid to the affected people in the third structure that is can in this structure the group members have significant presence from the impacted area and also from outside of it that is international organizations like uh, and ngos having selected the structures then we selected the parameters on the basis of which we are going to evaluate these structures these parameters were selected after having a discussion with the experts on this particular field we held a brainstorming session with them the parameters which were finally decided were speed 
agility adaptability decentralization resilience alignment information system and resource availability these parameters were considered to be the most important to help the people during post disaster next what we did is we had a brainstorming session with the experts and assigned weights to each variable in each structure and then solved it through ahp that is analytical hierarchical process tool which is a multi criteria decision making technique the results that we got is out of the three structures ace can and pie can scored the highest points as compared to ace and pie so we can say that can structure is the most appropriate structure in dealing with post disaster management and this can be attributed to the fact that it has significant presence both inside and outside the affected area and would be the best in coordinating the relief efforts also what we got is agility came out to be the most important criteria in the selection of any post disaster humanitarian logistics structure